I always thought that his, the elegance in his photographs was like always took you to another place very beautifully. The untouchable quality of the people is really interesting in a way because it gives you a bit of a distance. You know, it's like seeing somebody across from a room and you wonder who that person is and you really want to know that person. You want to fall in love with that person. I first discovered Horst's work at an exhibition of his photographs at the Musée des Arts de la Mode at the Louvre. It was the first time that the Louvre had given an exhibition to a photographer. What attracted me to Horst's photographs were the elegant facades that he built around his subjects, the theatrical settings, the classical images that appeared to transcend time. Photographers are notoriously inarticulate about their work, but I was still curious to find out about this German who was embraced by the Beaumont of Paris in the 1930s and whose striking black and white photographs quickly established him as a master of composition and light. Curiously enough, this uh, glorious lighting of Horst uh, that has been sort of swept away by uh, the snapshot um, is having a, a renewal. The famous picture of that corset was, um, I think, at the basis of the Madonna's corsets and laces, etc. That's the way I turned up in Paris, in German lederhosen, you know. Well. Horst arrived in Paris in 1925, at a time of artistic fervor and upheaval. Picasso, Cocteau, Miro and Dali were all at work in the city, and he came to know them all. As well as assisting Hune, Horst modeled for him. Nobody dared to be photographed in bathing suits, you know, and I said, oh, what the hell, you know, and he photographed me, and Berg actually dared publishing it. It was very, very important for that time. Was nudity frowned upon? Yes. I mean, not even nude, it's just bathing trunks and whatever, you know. Then George went to, to Hollywood for a while, and then had to go over, you know, French folk, and they're very nice to me, French folk people. Of course, there's this, this, this young photographer who was extraordinarily good looking, and so people opened their hearts up to him. He wanted to be a part of that life, that really grand life that doesn't exist too much anymore. And he captured it for us, and, you know, and I, and I think that it's going to be always so much fun to look at his photographs. Early in Horst's career, Lisa Fonsegreve Penn became his favorite model. I never thought I was going to become a fashion model. I wanted to be a choreographer. But he was an artist, and a super artist, and uh, I wanted to help him with that as well. I started in the beginning to be a little nervous about how to pose and how to move in these things. And Forrest photographed me one after another of these wonderful, beautiful evening dresses. And I did mostly evening dresses for him. And it was fascinating. And I became a model because he made me one. I went to the Louvre and studied very carefully how portrait painters did pose their models, because in those days they had models. <laughs> We didn't have strobe lights in those days at all. So it was all a series of small spotlights. And he put them on in a way that made everything very soft and caressing. And it was absolutely fascinating to follow. 